other tutorial which will be super simple in this tutorial I will be using this palette right here which is a palette with a mix of matte neutral shades you can use the one that you have at home because I feel like um, this palette is um, not uh, something that you will buy because it's pretty expensive and it's a from brand from Italy so I feel like you will use what you have at home which will be a lot better so I first used that transition shade and now I'm using this beautiful orangey brown shade with this blending brush from Jessup and I will be uh, doing circular motions and windsor wiper motions to blend it out in the crease and to also make it a little bit more intense little by little as always make sure your product is really blended also with another clean brush and then with this small tapered brush I will be applying the same color again to just intensify it even more and then using the shadow next to it which is a little darker I will be applying it in the crease to intensify that crease and make it a little dark even more Now, with a mix of these two shades, it was really difficult to point them out to you, I will be using this brush right here, which is kind of a mix of a concealer brush and a blending brush in one, and I will be packing the product first and then blend it out a little bit into the crease, as we see now, and then blend it out again with the same small tapered blending brush from Jessup. It's a normal process of packing and blending, packing and blending uh, every step. Now we're using mustard from the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette to just add a little bit of that mustardy shade into the crease, more in the like inner corner part, and then blend it out with a clean brush again. Blending is really, really important in this look. I feel like it's the number one thing that you have to be patient about and do really well. Here I'm using this uh, like havery shade to apply this on the lid and I'm super sorry about the shaking my camera, um, yeah, sorry about that. I'm repeating the same steps on the bottom lash line as I did on the top and then I'm doing my liner with the NYC liquid liner which is my favorite, my absolute favorite and I just use a different type of brush to be a little bit more precise but it's just a little liner application not too thick, not too thin I just uh, made it look a little bit better out of camera and yeah then um, my friend just slayed my highlighter a little bit more <laughs> my friend Lara which was there with me. I did my mascara out of camera and also applied some peekaboo lashes uh, right now which these are the Earthbreaker are my absolute favorite. I'm in love with them so much so this is the like high look finished but we definitely need to do our brows because they're looking like a mess and they don't match this look at all so for the brow I will be using the Wonder Brow Gel which is really really popular on Instagram and they actually contacted me and sent me this product to try out so I was really really happy to try it out and I will be also doing like a first impression talk talk first impression on my um, future first impression video that I will be doing doing I will be uh, uploading next I feel like so um, here I'm just applying the product really really simple um, this product I feel like it's a little bit better to do more natural brows than super like Instagram Instagram brows so I don't know um, for down the pictures on Instagram I just uh, made my brows look a little bit darker because I feel like uh, with like the picture that I had on Instagram it wasn't looking that good um, but I feel like for a more natural brow this product is really really nice and super waterproof it will not budge anywhere so I feel like it's perfect also for summer or for girls that have less brows and by the way this is the color brown black so it looks a little light in the um, container but it's a little bit darker and now I also decided to do my freckles 
uh, with the same product, which is what I used here. And I was laughing because my friend was making me laugh. I don't remember even why. But um, I feel like this product is really good for freckles. I used the same brush I used for the liner and it, it worked just fine. Um, I made some a little too dark, so we'll be going back with a little beauty blender to blend them out a bit more but yeah yeah i found it really really useful and uh, it's good because it's waterproof so it's pretty nice i will also apply a little bit of blush doing a mix of these two shades from the sweet cheeks palette and also applying them also like applying them on my cheeks like you usually do with blush you know i, I usually apply it on the cheekbones not cheekbones like cheek apple of the cheeks yeah, yeah, I have both the cheeks. And then spraying my face to fix everything and make my complexion, complexion a little bit more dewy with an essence spray. And now we'll go with the lips, with the NYX Lip Lingerie, lingerie um, in Seduction, which is a really, really beautiful color. But I actually swatched after uh, filming this after hours and I feel like that really really looked good with this makeup look so if you're planning on wearing this makeup I feel like a brown lip will switch it even more so if you want you can try it out also that and that's the finished look so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one